Hey everyone, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com. Today we're going to talk about lithium batteries, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright guys, so been very, very popular now the past probably six or seven years, but extremely popular the past three or four. Lithium batteries, what are some of the benefits? Are they good? Do you need them in your boat? So I'm going to go over some of the stuff. We've done a lot of research on these and first up, one of the things I want to talk about is the warranty. So what's great about lithium batteries and their warranty? So we're seeing out there in the market right now some different lithium battery companies offering 10-year, 12-year, I think I even saw a 13-year warranty on the lithium battery. But there is a caveat to this as you guys start doing your research on this. Look at the warranty in the fine print. What I mean by this is several of the companies will say there's a free replacement warranty for three years, but on your fourth year and every year after that, you will have an increased prorated dollar amount that you need to pay. Now the manufacturers do this for a couple reasons. If they have a battery that goes out five or six years down the line, their hope is that when the stair step approach, if you will, or the dollar increasing per year that you are from your original purchase, the more you pay, their hope is that you will pay for the replacement cost, their cost, not your cost by the way, of that battery. So. Be sure to read the fine print on your warranty on that as well just to make sure that you are getting a full 10 year replacement or that at your bare minimum at least understand what your cost could be in the future on that. Second thing I want to discuss is another pro to the lithium batteries is they're much smaller, much lighter. Some of you cult follow us that run your champion boats, for example, have always struggled with getting group 31 series batteries in the back compartments of your 203s. Like me, I run a 193 champion as just a fun hobby backup boat for myself and the compartments are just extremely small. I can get a couple 24s, but not much bigger than that, but I can put some lithium batteries back in there. Now, the other added benefit of this, if they are, which again, smaller in size and lighter than a let, wet lead acid battery and an AGM battery is your boat's going to float higher. You can get into shallower water. You don't have as much backwash that comes over the back deck of the boat in a lot of cases. And a lot of times your hole shot is increased as well too. But there is another issue that we've seen that's come across the board with these as well too just because they're lighter and they take weight out of the boat doesn't always mean that you're going to be running faster. So in 2015 or 2016, we were rigging out James Watson's boat. He ran a Ranger at the time. I think, believe it was a 520C model, if I remember correctly. And we were excited. We put Group 31 um, AGM for his crank battery and the rest were lithium batteries. So we're still running an AGM series for the crank engine at the time and three trolling motor batteries were all these very small lithium batteries. We ended up saving about 120, 130 pounds of weight in the back end of the boat. And to our disappointment, the boat actually ran slower. So called a buddy of mine, actually at the time Keith Daffron and asked him what was going on. And in a humorous way, he said very politely to us, basically we're kind of dum-dums and the boats were engineered to run with about 320 to 350 pounds of battery weight in the stern and we were losing our bow lift by not having that weight in the back of the boat. So just because we go lighter in the back doesn't always equate to more speed. Now you go fast boats, some of you Bass Cats, Allisons, Bullets, we have seen increased speeds by putting lithium batteries in the back, but we have boat handling issues in some cases, boat balancing issues in some cases. So some of the manufacturers saying put some um, lead shot in the back or put some sandbags in the back to help with rebalancing some of those boats which in my opinion kind of defeats one of the big reasons why a lot of pe people decide to go with lithium batteries in the first place. So warranty, be very very careful about that. Lighter, smaller, doesn't always equate to more speed necessarily but does have some improvements with your hole shot, 
your stern floating higher and the boat overall floating shallower so that can help get you in some of those um, shallower areas that you guys are trying to access or to get over some of those sandbar type stuff to get back in some backwaters. Next thing I want to cover with this is the price point. They are a lot more expensive than what we're running into with AGM batteries currently and of course your lead acid batteries. Now, thing that you guys have to realize and think about, how many times do you change out a series or system of batteries? How long are you keeping your boats versus how much that cost of that new lithium battery is going to cost you and go into that if that makes sense. So how many sets of AGM Group 31 batteries can you buy to equate to buying a set of lithium batteries if the lithium batteries end up lasting that long? So remember guys, there are a lot of things coming here with these new lithium batteries. They are starting to take off in popularity. One thing I will caution you guys on, last and not least, again when it comes to the warranty, deal with a reputable company. I have seen a lot of companies popping up recently. They're doing what's called white labeling. We've done our research in lithium batteries. We spent a past year actually doing research. There's a reason why we haven't brought a battery to the market yet, okay? One of the main proponents is failure rates. We've seen too many failure rates in testing through several different batteries, what would be our competitors, battery suppliers. They're telling you they're putting grade A sales in the batteries and a lot of times they're not. Construction, not always the best. So if you are choosing to purchase and dive into the lithium batteries, go with a reputable company, go with somebody who has been in the battery business, whether it's lithium or other batteries. ProGuide, for example, has been in the battery game for a long, long time, way before lithium was even a thought of to put in bass boats. So, go with a reputable company for two reasons. One, they're gonna be able to stand behind the product, but two, if you have a warranty issue years down the road, that company, chances are, is still gonna be in business to take care of you. None of the 10, 12, 14, 13 year warranty, however the longest warranty is out there for a lithium battery company, truly really matters if that company's not gonna be in business three, 12 years down the line, right? So be sure you're dealing with somebody very reputable. It may cost you more money up front, but you're going to want to be able to have that service in the future to be taken care of. So I'm not going to name brands. I'm not going to name the ones that we tested that were really good and really bad. I want you guys to do your own research on them. We have seen some pretty significant failures and by failures, not necessarily fires that we saw with the lithium ion batteries that were very early on. These are now the LiPo 4s or lithium iron phosphate batteries. Very big difference between those two formulations. So. Remember guys, like, share, and subscribe. This is my rant for the day for lithium batteries and stuff. Do you agree? Do you not agree? Is the cost worth it? Let me know in the comments below. Love to hear your guys' opinions. There's a reason why, I, in my opinion, I'm still an AGM guy for right now, so be curious to see your guys' thoughts. We'll see you next time. Are you tired of your old marine electronics? At RP, we make trade-in easy. Three steps. Step one, shoot us an email, get a quote. Step two, send us your old unit and get credit. Step three, get your brand new unit and get it installed on your boat today.